It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Milton Wordsworth. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come with me. Welcome, one and all, Milton Wordsworth, story maker and magical maestro, at your service. I spy with my little eye. Oh, somebody looking at me. Hello, Jackson. Hello, Jelly. <laughs> oh, I spy with my little eye something very small. Hmm, somebody must have left this behind. What have you got there, Jackson? Hmm, is it a very small nose warmer? No, 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 no. It's a, it's a very small hand warmer. Mm. What is it, Milton? Yes. Let me see. Mm. Mm. It's a very small foot warmer. Oh. Oh. <laughs> For a very small person. Oh. It's a baby's booty. <laughs> Milton! It's, it's all right, Jackson. He's putting it in the story machine for a story. Oh. Now, this is where we need your help. It takes a lot of imagination to get this story machine going. So put your hands up like this and imagine the story coming alive. Think about it in your head. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine the story. Ooh, it's a playbook. And it's called Baby Charlotte. Eight o'clock each morning, as Daddy leaves the house, Sam and Alex stand at the window and wave goodbye, while baby Charlotte sleeps as quiet as a mouse. At half past eight, breakfast is on the table. Sam and Alex sit and eat. They munch and chomp, while baby Charlotte sleeps, rocking in her little cradle. At nine o'clock, it's time to play. Sam runs and jumps, and Alex laughs and leaps. But baby Charlotte, Charlotte sleeps, sleeps the day away. At ten o'clock, Charlotte's awake. Sam and Alex come to see their little sister. But what does baby Charlotte want to do? Oh no! Baby Charlotte's done a poo! At five past ten, Charlotte's unhappy. Someone must change her dirty nappy. Sam and Alex are not too keen on helping to keep their sister clean. Twelve o'clock, baby Charlotte is feeling hungry. She's having mummy's milk. A friend comes to visit, a special guest. Charlotte decides to have a rest. Newborn babies are very small and they hardly do anything at all. They like to sleep as big boys play. Miss all the fun and games. as they dream the whole day away. <laughs> uh, 
Mm. Have I ever introduced you, story makers, to my very own resident? I'm sure he's in there somewhere. Mm. Ah, yes. Performing flea. Performing flea? <laughs> but I can't see anything. Neither can I. Mm. His name's Tim, and he's very difficult to see because he's mm. very, very, very tiny. Mm. In fact, he's so tiny, only very special people can see him. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I spy Tim. <laughs> so, so do I. Mm. Hello, Tim. Hello. <laughs> right. Because he likes you so much, he's now going to perform his amazing triple flip somersault. Oh, <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Did you see that, Jelly? Yes, yes, yes. It was fantastic. Yes, it was fantastic. <laughs> Careful, Tim. Where are you going? Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, he's got in the story machine. Oh, no. Tim likes adventure. Where are you? Oh, well, never mind. Can you help me with a story? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story! It's a blue cow story! What's it called, Milton? Blue Cow and the Flea. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders. Wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was scratching her head. I wonder what it would be like to meet a flea. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a return ticket to a place where I can meet a flea, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a place where fleas live. And then they arrived. She was in a field and there was no one there. I must have caught the wrong bus, thought Blue Cow. Hello, said a voice. I'm down here. Where? said Blue Cow, looking all around her. Here, on the end of your nose. Blue Cow crossed her eyes and saw a tiny flea. And the tiny flea carried a suitcase. Hello, my name's Tim. I'm Blue Cow. Yes, I know. I've been on holiday on you and lots of other people too. Look. He opened his suitcase and produced a photo album. I've been on tour with the Space Girls, and here I am in Buckingham Palace. That's me on the guard's hat. And here I am on the London Eye, on a boy called George. And this is me, on you, Blue Cow, in your field. Really? said Blue Cow. How do you do that? You just hop on for a ride. Let me show you, said Tim. Boing! Tim sprung high into the sky and landed on the grass. Boing! He hopped back onto Blue Cow's nose. Easy peasy. Now you try, said Tim, and he jumped back onto the grass. Blue Cow leapt into the air. Boing, 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 she went as she bounced around the field. Here I come, said Blue Cow, and she sailed through the air towards Tim. Stop, cried Tim. You'll squash me. You're too big to hop for a ride on me. Oh, sorry, said Blue Cow. Perhaps it would be better if I caught the bus. Yes, perhaps it might, said Tim. And they both laughed. <laughs> You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been talking to Tim the flea. Everyone knows cows can't talk to fleas. But we know they can, don't we? Thanks, Tim. I spy with my little eye something we... Oh, what's all that? Rubbish. What? The children were making things out of rubbish today. Well, they didn't clear up very well. Mm. Jackson, I know. You throw the rubbish and I'll catch it in the bin. Oh, all right. Um, oh, this bit. Uh, Allez. Oh, oh. oh. Mm. it missed. Never mm. mind. Try again. Oh, all right. Um, oh. This bit. Um, alley. Oop. That was supposed to go in the bin. <gasps> oh, Milton! Milton! Now we need a large helping of imagination. 
Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. It's a poon story. Poon in the bin. Here's the kitchen. It's early in the morning. Who lives here? A pan scour. That's scrub. There's geranium. And pop the toaster. Piece of toast. Wake up, Glug. <laughs> and six wooden spoons. Mr. Spoon and Mrs. Spoon. Thin Sally and Spatula Sam. Auntie Porridge Spurtle. Oh, hello there. And of course, Poon. The Poons live here. I think I'll go for a walk and let Mum and Dad have a lie-in. I'll, I'll go and say hello to Pop. Not too close because he's hot. Oh, hello, Pop. Are you awake? Good morning. Fancy a piece of toast? I'm going to wake Scrub up first. Of course, be careful. He's always grumpy. Hello, Geranium. Oh, hello, little Poon. Mm, sunshine, just what I need. A day in the sun. Scrub, Scrub, Scrub. Scrub, 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 Scrub. I told you he's especially grumpy in the mornings. Morning. What's that funny smell? Is it fish? It was fish yesterday for tea. I turned it in the pan. Yes, it did it ever so well. Where's it coming from? I'll look over here. Oh, 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 oh. be careful, Poon. You might fall off. I can see what it is. The bin is open. Ah, ah, ah. Boone, where are you? Oh, he's fallen into the bin. Oh, no, he's fallen into the bin. Now what are we going to do? The bin men come today. Oh, oh, I don't like it in here. There's a sharp tin and a smelly fish. I want to get out. Wake up, wake up, everybody. We must rescue Poon. Oh, no, the bin men are coming. We must pull him out. Grab hold of me, Jane. Don't you worry, we'll be back. Don't have you out. Me. Oh, oh, Make sure you let him down slowly. Yes, but careful. We must get him out quickly. Give him your chain. Ooh, be careful. Come on, here. Come on, here. Some close to the edge again. Phew, thanks, Glug. All in a day's work. Milton, I've been looking in this box for your flea, but but there's nothing in here. Was there ever anything in there? All oh, right, I was only pretending. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it was a good game. Yeah. <laughs> and I liked him all the same. And me too. <laughs> Milton, look. Unfortunately, the dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories, and we bid you goodbye. Thanks for helping. Bye, story makers. See you again soon.